All right, guys, what's up? It is AM Icebreaker for Wednesday, March 28th, and I hope you are having a wonderful week up till now. I hope that you uh, have had a productive week. I hope that you are moving closer to your goals, and if not, figure out what the one thing you can do the next hour, the next day, or the next week to get you going where you need to be going. Simple advice, but works every time. All right, so... Today we're just gonna jump right into it. Um, I actually had a had a question from uh, from Anon. Why do you guys always want to remain anonymous? Like like like, like this is a very very friendly uh, fr friendly community. Nobody's gonna poke holes in you. I promise. And if they do, I'll I don't know. They will be dealt with. So I I don't know why I said that. Doesn't matter. I appreciate the questions, but this is a question I actually get a lot uh, when I talk about fasting and. The question is usually something in the form of just to keep it even more general. So actually, here, hold on. Let me pull this up real quick. Pull up the email. All right, so or Anon says, so the, the problem I have with fasting is I get to a certain point and I just can't go any further. I usually make it 18, 19, 20 hours, but I usually can't make it that 24 and going further than that just seems almost impossible. Do you have any tips for how to extend my fast? Yes, yes I do. Okay, so first of all, full disclosure, I've been, I've been doing IF for, Probably since about 2010, 2011, on and off, so for quite a while. And even when I'm not fasting, the the, the periods of time where I'm eating, I guess we could say regularly, that is, you know, morning to, <clears throat> to to night, you know, usually, you know, 12, whatever, 10, 12, 14 hour window, eating window is what it boils down to. Um, those periods haven't been very, very, like, extensive, maybe a month tops, and then I go back to some sort of fast. So... When I first started doing longer fasts, there were a couple things I did. One, and I think this is the most important part, is find a find a block of time where you know you're like if you're not you don't have any real commitments. You know that's why I like to fast over say three day weekends. If I'm gonna do like a seventy two, or even if I'm gonna do a twenty four, you know I like to make sure that part of it is overnight, and then it's usually during the weekends when I'm not doing anything. And that's why now it's easy for me to do twenty four hour fasts. You know Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because I mean. Usually I'm not doing anything unless I'm traveling, you know, unless I'm out somewhere. Like say this weekend, for example, I'm going out to on it for uh, for the barbell cert. So I may, I may just do a normal sixteen eight. I may, you know, who knows? We'll see. But usually when I'm not doing anything, if if I know that it's just going to be a normal weekend where I'm just going to go to the office, do some work, I'm just going to hang out. It's like you know, it's like okay, perfect. I'll do a twenty four or a thirty six or a forty eight. But yeah, find a block of time where you know you're not going to have to do anything. Now, two. Uh, I, I guess corollary and almost, but also maybe a little contrary to that, make up stuff to do. So, fi fi so find find a schedule, but make, but here this is, and this is mainly for mental psychological reasons. Make sure that you're dictating them. Make sure it's things that you want to do. You know, so don't 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 say you know don't don't schedule don't don't make this like the weekend that like you know you run errands with your SO or whatever. Like to say, I mean, maybe you can, but for me, I found it's it's easier if. If I say, okay, well, well, here's here's what I would do other than eat. Here are things that I could that I know I can do <clears throat> that will take my mind off of eating because I will be so engaged. You know, whether that's writing a blog post, whether that's working on a, you know, catching up on projects. Sometimes it's just doing nothing, like you know, like I said, watching a movie and playing a video game. But like I said, it's things I know that will distract me. So figure that out for you. Figure out like what you know, what a good. I hate to say distraction because 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 it, it might not be a distraction. I said it might actually be working on on some side project or something like that. But just make sure that it's something that you own and you know is going to take your mind off of it. Um, and three, and this is probably like the easiest but hardest part is um, commit. You know, um, when when I first started fasting, I think what what I do a lot of times is, is I would just say, okay, I'm just going to see how long I can go. I would just say, okay, well, you know, if I get to 12 hours, let's, I'm just going to see how much longer I can go after that. Okay, if I get to 16 hours, I'm going to see how much longer I can go after that. But at some point, I kind of said, you know what? No, no. I, I said I'm going to go 24 hours, so I'm going to go 24 hours. And that's really when the whole idea of, A, finding like a, a kind of a an empty time block and, B, like scheduling things to do really, really becomes – like it really becomes evident how useful that is <clears throat> because – you know, when you're saying to yourself, like, because a lot of times it's not that we can't do it, you know, I mean, it's just that we get bored. We're just like, oh, crap, I'm just going to go eat or I'm going to go, I mean, unless you're just, I don't know, running yourself ragged during your fasting block, like, you know, you're, you're training way too much, you know, you haven't slept, you you, you know, you can, you can probably, you probably don't need to eat, you know, right off. I mean, and obviously I'm not saying starve yourself, but 
<clears throat> but the hunger response, and, and you read and you see this in fasting literature all over, like, like when you read research about fasting or, or notes on fasting, is the hunger response is partially psychological, and it's just something you need to learn to kind of tamp down. So at some point you gotta say, okay, well, I said I'm gonna go 24 hours, so I'm gonna go 24 hours, and go 24 hours, and um, yeah, and, and you'll find it gets easier over time. Eventually, like like when I did my my 72 hour dry fast, it was basically like I just kind of worked myself, not 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 like like, oh, all right, I'm gonna do it. it just, but I just been thinking about it. I've been kind of planning. I said, okay, I now I have a three day weekend, and so when it happened, it was like, okay, cool. I know I you know I said that I'm gonna go, all you know this 72 hours, you know without. You know, without without eating, without drinking, and you know, let's, let's just see what happens. So, so that's it. So, I mean, in a nutshell, one find a good block of time for you to um, find a good block of time that that you know you're not going to have to do anything. You have no commitments. You're just going to be able to kind of manage how you want to find things that you know are going to help you stay focused on the fact that you're not or not focused. That things things are going to help you not focus on the fact. I don't want to use the word distracted. I, I know that I think about. It, I really don't like that word. Um, Find things that are going to help you. That are they're going to replace. They're going to replace the whole like the whole eating thing. I guess. I'll, I'll find a more eloquent way to say it. But yeah, like, now that I think about it, I really don't like the word distracted. And three, um, um, find find things to like I said. So find a block of time. And three, find things that like I said that are whatever those things are. Okay, that was like again super ineloquent, and I apologize. But that's that's it. But that's those are my my top three tips for fasting in a nutshell. Thank you, Anon. Again, if you guys have questions, I'm happy to answer questions on these either on these AM icebreakers or on the Q&A Sunday. So, yeah, that's what I got. Hope to see some of you guys this weekend out on it. And cheers.